is. I think I've ever really noticed how tall that was. Yeah. You think? Oh, it's like carved. What's in there? Oh, turtles. Tortoises. Try not to put my finger over the mic. <clears throat> Where do you want to go? Who's supposed to be in here? Oh, the bearded dragons. Wow. Oh, <laughs> just so much for hiding. Oh, yeah, honestly, I've never seen them moving. so hard to find. Certainly gave them plenty of habitat, didn't they? Cunningham skink. I think Cunningham has kept it. No, it's right there. See it? Oh, God, the whole pile of them. Duh. <laughs> That's really funny. Oh, I found it. Oh, that in the big pile in the corner is a little bitty one. See him? Yeah. Or her? It? <clears throat> oh, there's the ADHD kid. Found somebody's lost sunglasses. Something just ran right through there. Oh, it's a bird. I love that one. Mm. Oh, the ducks. favorite animal in all of New Zealand, the pukeku. It's the equivalent of a very stupid chicken. They don't even look like stupid chickens. They're pretty stupid chickens, but... The majestic Pukeku. This is the tiger enclosure. Way 
see if they can get over to it. See if the other one was around. It's a cool enclosure. Wow. Yeah. That's a cool part of the park, of the zoo. That was bamboo. Don't imagine that it's gonna come out, but This is where the otters went. This is the red panda cage. Enclosure. Closure. That will see one, but that is a big otter. Nope, there it is.
Two, five, don't know. Well, they don't usually get to see that. It's really different. Usually they're swimming around. Where's the other one? Oh, I guess this is the other one. They must be in the back. A shag. Oh, oh, oh. Those are the smallest penguins in the world. The little blue penguin. The little blue penguin. They're <laughs> over to attack by rats. <laughs> oh, I just knocked him off. Oh, there's penguins underneath the boat, too. There they go. Off for a swim. Oh, look at the seal. Here, come over here. It's shorter. Oh, thanks, Ruth. Uh-huh. is up in his nest doing what he does best. Being a shag.
Oh, it could take a while, couldn't it? There you go. <laughs> the Northern Royal Albatross. Be afraid, be very afraid. A seagull from hell. Oh, mutton birds. <laughs> yeah, <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they don't have the slopers, got too much pe people of the stuff. Funniest videos, home videos, or whatever. Yeah. If it had a work, so it's <laughs> oh, This is really pretty. Normally, okay. Normally, the sea lions, the seals come cruising past here in all their own little patterns. But I think they're done for the day. Look what they had on that chain. Godzilla. Oh, very funny. Well, I'm sure it was like an enrichment thing. Probably some floating thing that <laughs> ended up ripping it off. Oh my god. I oh. hope that comes out. Me too. I don't know. Sometimes it's very cool. It's very wavy. I think it's cool they have this up here and <laughs> got your little um, plastic roofing. No idea if anybody can see that. Although, yeah, we did learn it was pretty, um, dark tolerant. Yeah, because it was at the pizza place. Yeah. Money says they've gone indoors. <clears throat> mm -hmm. We've got the coolest enclosures here, though. <laughs> they have a bowl up in the tree. Oh, yeah. oh there's one. Deesh. Are we smart enough to know where the door is? That, at least that one wasn't labeled. Can't open it until that one closes. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Come on. Come on, yeah. Thank you. Did you need to head 
down to it. It's a daffy duck, it's black. Mm-hmm. Don't usually see a duck perch. vegetarian. I really hope that comes out. Steady. 
I think my blood sugar's been down. I can feel my feet a little better. Hey, the frogs. I'm not going to see that. There are kiwis in here. But God save us if we can find them. There's one. Right here, right here. See it? Is that the one you saw? That is the best I've seen. So cool. What are we eating? Or she. Huh? It is. You see the little red light? Yeah, it's tucked up in the corner like that. Yep, there it is.
this, ooh, right son. This is some kind of dam system that I have never figured out how the hell it works. They've got pictures, they've got descriptions, and I still don't get it, but that's something that he used to move uh, Karari trees downstream. Let's see. They can live for more than 2,000 years, 50 meters tall, 10 meters wide, and there's multiple layers buried uh, under all these farmers' fields. They can dig them up, and it costs a fortune to buy it, but you can buy like 25 million year old wood, and it's still wood as opposed to being petrified. So it's really cool. I have a cheese plate platter thing. To the forest! That says pull. I'm going to pull. This nest was made by a tui right here in the forest. Good job, buddy. This one also says pull, so I should push. How do you pronounce that? Tan Tane Nui Arangi. Tane? Okay. Tane Nui Arangi. That's not, that was just the first part with the... Tane. Got it. This is Tane Nui Arangi, who obtained the three... Kete. Kete, or baskets of knowledge. His journey to get these Kete mm -hmm. was filled with many challenges. The story of Tane's quest provides a Maori view of our own quest for knowledge. The challenges he faced remind us that knowledge is not always easily obtained, and challenges are part of learning and earning knowledge. Uh, this beautiful, serene forest habitat is a place of learning through careful observation and discovery, because so these birds will hide from you. And somewhere in here is the biggest pigeon you will ever see in your life. It's freaking huge. Children of Tane. Right up there, if you can see it, is a tui. In another video, I talk about the fern tree that can be cut and then regrow. This is one of the fences they make with it. And you can see one of them is regrowing. That one's starting to regrow. And they will literally become full-fledged, full-blown trees, despite having been cut in multiple pieces. Ah, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one has grown straight up from where it was cut. It's cut at both ends, top and bottom, and it's grown. There's two more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're all along here. But they, this is literally a potentially fully living fence or retaining wall. It's really cool. <clears throat> That's the lesser, letter, lesser spotted child. At least we hope they're lesser spotted. Uh, oh, there's a two up closer. And a little on the chunky sword. And just so you know, the two are not known for their hiding. They don't really care at all that you see them. Right up here are some great examples of the. Uh, Fern tree growing from the fence. 
All one, two, three, four, five of those full-blown 20-foot tall trees, well that one's 20-foot, are all from cut, fully cut uh, trees. So this retaining wall used to just be cut and these are coming in, you can see. Mm -hmm. Oh, little babies. Little baby ferns coming up. One of the bird species in here has been yumming away at that. We've got this kind of swift river stream thing coming through here that goes through waterfalls and all kinds of stuff. We'll go up to the top and see what we can see. If I haven't mentioned it, this is the Auckland Zoo in Auckland, New Zealand. Oh, there's somebody in quarantine. There's a bird over in quarantine. I come to the Auckland Zoo every time I come here. And I see something different every time I come. Right through here is the quarantined area and there was a bird, but I don't think I turned my camera fast enough. That's in here somewhere. This is how they feed them. We pull this in and you see it's actually a branch on a hinge. So that they can put stuff on these little nails that are there. Uh, don't worry, pointy part is not pointed up. Is the wood pigeon my beast of a pigeon? Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're huge. Like, to give an example, that's about nine inches. They're like this. They're <coughs> can't even fly. Well, they can fly, but not well. Hmm. This is the top of a fern tree. Well, several of them actually. And that's the top of the fern tree that was in that retaining wall. I'm surprised nobody's eating this. Usually they're not in it. Uh, you know, they're really hard to find because they hide up in these trees and down there, and it's so dense that if they can be right sitting right there and you don't even see them. You know, that one time I found one because it plunked down off a branch. Oh look, look little guy. Just in case you did see that, that is the silver eye, or whatever the hell that says. Tahu. Tahu? Tahu. Tahu. Please remember that 85% of all plant species in New Zealand are only found in New Zealand. It's the only place on earth you can find them, and they're as close to being the environment here is as close to what it was 80 million years ago as you can find anywhere else on Earth. Oh yes, there he is again. And your camera shy, thanks. How'd you know I had a camera, bud? It's a quick little sucker, isn't it? Again, the inside of a fern tree from the top. And the rock we have in tail is going to hold on to a rail. Whatever was in here was quite big. It's on lock gate. In case the birds want to break out.
up in there you can see a couple little waterfalls that's the uh, quarantine unit here's more the waterfalls here My pigeon? Oh, found a pigeon. Oh, yes, yes. And he flies. Oh, thank you. You are the sweetest pigeon ever. No one would believe that there's a pigeon that damn big. Hi, buddy. <laughs> That's amazing. This has been like the best zoo day ever. Kiwi up close. P Whoa. And there went another one. So you guys are kind of like night birds, huh? Yeah, I'm not. Nope. Just being casual. Casual. <sighs> nope, nothing to fear here, Mr. Pizza Man. I think that's as close as I get. Looks so cool. Don't worry, I won't touch him. I would never do that. You don't need my stinky stuff on him. Nice like cat, buddy. That's beyond cool. Nah. I actually wouldn't touch him. And Ruth gives it a shot because she'll touch him. If he comes flying at you, I'm going to die laughing. And I'll have it on film. Oh my god. He's looking for food. Does that hurt? Oh. I wouldn't do that. Touching a pigeon. I'm supposed to touch the pigeon. Use the feet cleaning station in case you got something on you. Actually, for when you come in, but. The high country, which that says, Fenura, what? Wyotu. 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 W H is like our P H. It makes an F sound. So that's Fenura. Fenura. Wild tooth. Wild tooth. Yeah. That.
wait till you see the signs for places like Bakanui. Fuck a papa. Fuck a papa. That's another place. Yes, that's the location. Fuck a papa. And no, I'm not cussing. That's a real life place. All right, these are the Kia. Kia? Yeah. Yeah. They are incredibly smart birds, and they will steal things. All right, so where are they hiding? They've got stuff in there. Things. They actually put their food in these like situations where it's like a puzzle, so that they have to solve it to get their food, so that they don't get super bored. Because when they get bored, they get not very nice. Oh, there's one. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but he's right up there. I love how the awesome do those things. Got waterfalls. And then it rushes under. It goes down to that pool where it swirls around. There's also some other birds in here that they usually hide out in their hut up here. I won't know if you saw anything until later. There he is. See, I was bad because I stuck my hand up in there. I'll find out later if somebody's in there. Yeah. And to our double gates, because these suckers are smart. That is a Greg. Yeah, but that's not a full name, it's just um I think that's a cheese that's no cheese. If we can't get closer to what Ruth is calling a Greg. Pocket here, right over there. Hippo River, if you saw me swimming earlier, it's my hangout.
Bob Serval. Let's see if Serval is home. I usually find him. Or her. Is that him or her? It's a him, isn't it? Oh, there it is. Damn, I'm good. He always hides down in the little gulch thing. So if you want to see active zoo animals, come in the evening or the early morning. That was way cool. With their long curved claws, servals can hook frogs and fish out of the water. They communicate with a shrill cry. They also growl and purr, which means they don't roar. They can leap as high as three meters. That's high. The serval went around the back, but it'll probably it'll probably pop out, and it usually likes to be down in there. Just so you know. Oh. Oh oh oh. Henrietta. There's the boy. See her? The boy is right there. I'm pretty sure that's the boy. Yeah. That's just creepy. It's like they just disappear, and even the waves from them disappear. Okay. Now for something completely terrifying. Hippopotamuses kill more people than uh, sharks. And there. Is that him? Or is that a log? She's going over in that corner where she usually hangs out. I don't know. Oh, there he is. That's him. That's her. She's, she's went like under or over him. That's him. Yeah, so she went under or over him. Mm, stirred up some yummy stuff. Usually get anywhere near him. Emergency use, dude. It's way too late if you're needing that. <laughs> One, you've been in that water. That's disgusting. Oh yeah, some of them were. Oh, this will be a bad angle. Yeah, I'll go up to the next one. Of all this native foliage here, it's really cool. Oh.
He's like really high out of the water. See him? That's her. To the right. That big lump is him. Like sticking two, two feet yeah, two feet out of the water. Found a little something to stand on. That's their mud pit and it's really gross. Alright. These are the cheetahs, Anubis and Osiris, when they were nine months old. They are what are called ambassador animals, which means they are actually trained to be around people. They're like this massive domesticated cat. And you can actually pay to do tours here with Anubis and Osiris. And there they are, doing what cheetahs do best, hanging out. They are siblings. They're brothers, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're brothers. Came from South Africa, I think. Didn't they say? Yes. And uh. Hi everyone. I'm uh senior here on Carnival at the Auckland Zoo, and the two kids are going to be in my charges and be part of our section. And um, just want to tell you a little bit about us here. Um, our two kids are called Anubis and Osiris. I actually posted some uh, pictures of them eating right here. You can see the little rabbit ears. One of the really important roles that these two cheetahs play at Auckland Zoo is the fact that we call them ambassador cheetahs, which means they represent um, their species in the world. can reach speeds of 100 kilometers per hour in three seconds. But they can only do it in short bursts. And we can tell people about the plight of the cheetah. The cheetah is the most endangered cat in Africa, and it's great to be able to take people out on walks with us. And they get to See if the tortoises are out. I doubt it. It's a little too cool. Can't see if they're inside there. <laughs> Spot the flamingos. They'll do this weird dance thing all together. Like not all together, but several of them will do it. It's really a trip. Sway your head. Oh. If you don't see it, there's a chicken over there. There, yes, there are random chickens and roosters running around the zoo, just loose. Anjali, the new one coming. Oh, cool. Had a lot of elephant orphanage in Sri Lanka. special island that they take her to called Nui that uh so that they can do the biosecurity make sure she's not carrying anything dangerous well yeah hey you know, there's lots of da fragile stuff here that's Burma he's the old dog around the park and Burma gets walk, goes for walks around the zoo uh, with a, well, not trainer, 
a keeper. Um, goes around the zoo, literally just walks around, just randomly see Burma hanging out. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 she's there. I think. No, maybe not. I, I saw a reflection. Oh, the wandering Pukeku. Oh, I thought I saw a trunk. It was a freaking tree branch. There's Burma. And over here are chickens. Hanging out with Burma. Oh, it's funny, it's got like a postal address on it, written on the side of the crate. We're just about to hire the Angelese to evacuate, where she will be setting out on her next leg uh, from Auckland to Millay. So by the middle of the year, Angelese will be arriving back in Auckland uh, from Auckland to Millay. Yes, she will be arriving back in Auckland from Auckland to Millay. Yes, she will be arriving back in Auckland and will be able to bring her finally, finally to the zoo. This is a fairly rare occasion where we get to uh, transport a live elephant uh, in the back of the C-130 Hercules, but uh, I'm sure this will be one trip that I'll remember for the rest of my career. The tigress. There are three. One was raised by dogs. Um, this is apparently a problem. When they had the male here, um, uh, the male is now dead. Um, but he was a the cowardly lion, apparently. <clears throat> oh, the rhino's up in there. What do we got? Oh, yeah. That's a good view of her. The rhino is like right there. You tell him. Oh. That's a three. Mm -hmm. One was raised by dogs. I still think she's a dog. Which caused problems with the boy. Yeah. He's not dead. He was dead. I said that. Bad. He felt sorry for him. Yeah. This is the white rhino. White is actually a misnomer because it actually was supposed to be, the word translated actually means wide, which is wide mouthed uh, rhino. But Europeans didn't understand that, so they thought it was the white rhino. And the black rhino is even more misnamed because they just named it black because the other one's called white. And it has a more narrow mouth. There's all the other animals. Okay. No, no, there's spring usually box. the... The spring box. The spring box are in here. Yeah, 
It's probably back in, ooh. Probably back in the thing. Oh, two of them. She's calling out. Um, That's what I thought it was. I say you saw a kiwi. For those that do not know, the ostrich's eyes are bigger than its brain by like a long shot. Big body, woo, stupid. Yeah, the giraffe over here, but the sun's gonna prevent the shot. Oh God, ducks, get out of that water. Oof. Lousy. Wild chicken. Oh, you gotta go messing with them. Good lord. What is that for an aloe plant? I doubt that's what it is, but. Ostriches again. Way in the back is the giraffe. Somewhere there's zebras. <laughs> Scraping dirt. Check out that tree. <clears throat> oh, this is so funny looking. All right, grass. There's the big boy. Hmm. He apparently is not a very kind lover. And so when he, he's actually got a mate. He has a mate now, doesn't he? Yeah. When he has, when he has his mate. He wasn't very nice to her and she got hurt kind of badly, but they made a baby. Where's the zebras are? Oh, there's the other two giraffes. And back over there, you can see them. Oh, really? Hmm. 
No, there's not a lot of space under there. Yeah, you're right, though. There could be. Don't see him. Sorry, a little bit more. Is the zebras I was looking for? Oh. That's a cool aloe type tree. I have no idea what it is. And behind it is that white barkless tree that loses its just bark. It's really cool. And then it's so pretty. Yeah. Oh, there's the babies. Oh, wow. I didn't realize it had that many more. There's the other giraffes. The poor victims. The babies. One of them's a baby. Two of them are babies. 